Okay, for this pouch, what we need is from each of our pattern pieces, we've got three pattern pieces, we need to cut one piece of our main fabric, one piece of the lining fabric, and one piece of very thin batting. Um, here you can see that I have joined scraps of batting. I like to do this with, with scraps that I have left over. I use in pouches by just joining um, small pieces like this. So once again, from each pattern piece, um, our main fabric, lining, and thin batting. Okay, here's our third one. Our main fabric, lining, and thin batting. And then we need a zipper. I always like to use a zipper that's longer than the piece where we're going to be sewing it onto so that I've got enough wiggle worm here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is this is our lip bottom, let's say. So we're going to put the zipper, the zipper in first. So for this, what we need to do is lay the zipper face down on top of our main fabric and extend it over the edges, right? And that we are going to place on top of the batting. Okay. And then we are going to sandwich. This is our lining fabric. We're going to put that on. And if it makes it easier for you, you can um, use pins to hold this together. What we want to do is sandwich the, it's actually four layers, the two fabrics, the batting and the zipper. Like this. Okay, and so for this you'll probably want to use a zipper foot and we're going to sew all of the layers together. Okay, so I've sewn this and I've encased the zipper and we can open it up now. And if you want, um, give it a light press. Uh, the next step, it's optional, um, but I, I do like to run another little top stitch along the length so that the, it won't roll around the zipper just to hold that in place. Uh, but once again, that's completely optional if you want to or not. I'm going to go do that now. Okay, next we're going to do the same with the top lip piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down and we're going to try to uh, match. Okay, the seams, and then we're going to place our uh, lining piece. Right here. Let's match this here. And then our lining piece also right sides together. There we go. Get a few pins. And we will do the exact same thing here. We will um, sew the three the, the three layers together with the zipper 
in between. And then we will turn this and top stitch it the same way. Okay, so the top lip.
Okay, so here um, we have the zipper attached. Don't worry if you have any excess um, batting or, you know, if the raw edges are uneven, we can fix that as we go along. Okay, so then the next step is we're going to layer this piece. We're going to open up the zipper a little bit so we can open this um, afterwards. Um, and we're going to layer the batting, which is the, which is the back piece of the, of the pouch, the batting, the fabric. We're going to set the lining aside for the time being, and we are going to sew around these layers. You'll see that they're, because of the way, uh, because of the different, the thickness of the layer, sometimes there's a little bit of a difference here, but not to worry, we can trim that later. And we are going to sew around the entire edge, enclosing um, the, the whole pouch that way. So once again, you might want to use a few pins just to hold. Okay. And go ahead and enclose the entire edge of the pouch. Okay, so I have sewn around the whole entire edges of the pouch. Um, note that in the at the end of the zippers, it's kind of like a V shape here, just to give that crease, you know, the the, the mouth crease shape right there. And now we're going to trim this. We want to trim it exactly so that we can fit um, the lining. The lining, we want that lining to fit exactly also. Okay. okay, so the next step is right sides together. And you're going to see here that see the lining is a little bit bigger. But what we're going to do is follow the stitching. Okay. And here we only need a couple of pins. What we already stitched down, but we're, we're putting this lining, the two lining pieces right sides together, right? With the zipper opened a little bit so we can turn it afterwards. But what we're going to do here is, because we want a clean finish for the pouch, um, we're going to sew again. But we're going to leave an opening down here let's say maybe an inch and a half, two, two inches. An inch and a half should be enough. And let's sew around the previous stitching. Okay, just leaving this opening right here. Okay, so let's trim the lining. It doesn't have to be perfect, just want it to reduce the bulk a little bit. Okay, and then here in the curve, the lip of the bow, we're just going to clip it. Okay, so when we turn it inside out, it will lie flat. Okay, and so... Find your opening 
and let's turn it inside out. Now you need at least a, an inch and a half, maybe even the two inches to be able to turn it. Okay. So here, in this point, you would probably want to um, just slip stitch the lining here. To close this. And once that's done, you can turn your pouch inside out. And there you have it. It's a fun little lip purse. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.